if you're holding an X300 and then the dude does whatever they do that, so that you're like. When I come out to get on the gun, that that's why momentary doesn't work. Surefire 300, uh, what are some situations when you would put the paddle in a locked-on position instead of momentary? Uh, always, always. And that has to do with, with how I'm activating um, the light. And I, I would – so not, not a Surefire 300, but same, same concept. So when I come out to get on the gun, I am either shooting or I am activating that uh, constant on and then either going in to take a shot after that or indexing on the side of the gun. Uh and the reason for that is that the only other way to, to momentary is to do it on push in on the other side. And Scott, it Scott is is really, really, really like heavy on this. It's it's kind of like his thing that he's that he teaches, but it's not his, his thing. He just knows that it is very important. And so it's one of the things that he, uh, uh, keys on. So if you grab, uh, the gun in such a way that you are pushing and activating the 300, you have a compromised support hand grip. So pressing in plus it hurts. If you're holding an X 300 and then the dude does whatever they do that that you're like it's go time, and you start getting after, gah, 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 and you start firing this pistol. Rapid fire recoil of that button onto the tip of your thumb is a painful, painful, painful event. So if guys are practicing using momentary, 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 momentary with this support grip, they've got a support grip that's trash. It's it's ass. This ain't what you need. This this ain't 0.16 splits down here, y'all. Okay, this this some 0.25 split shit going on over here. Um, I don't teach fundamentals in my class, uh, but when you get a high support grip on the gun and your thumb, and this is where Scott and I disagree. Scott doesn't think that the first digit of the thumb over here uh, does anything for you. He believes that the magic is all in the drumstick. Okay, I actually do like a, a pressing motion with that thumb also because it keeps me honest. It's another data point. When I'm checking in with my grip, do I feel the upward do I feel the upward pressure here? Do I feel the contact on the drumstick? Do I feel the pressure of my support thumb on the side of the frame of the pistol? Um, so if I'm pressing in on the side of the uh, on the side of the thumb, and then you know, obviously on some of the gamer pistols, they actually have a shelf here. For you to get get some mechanical advantage on, all right, your CZs and and some others, they built a, a resting point for this thumb to be able to give you some more leverage to really squeeze the shit out of this gun and keep this gun track and flat. So that that's why momentary doesn't work. If this finger is uh, activating the light then it can't it can't be hanging out pushing like this it needs to activate the light and then and then be ready to go in and and go on the trigger um or 
indexed up here trying to figure out who the who the f needs got right so i've said i've said this before uh about dry fire training but chuck if you draw and you immediately go in here and shoot and you didn't turn your light on how, how do you know if it's a bad guy or or, or not because i didn't turn the light on if i drew and didn't try to turn the light on then everything i needed to see in order to come to the conclusion that i was going to use deadly force I had already seen. So I am prepping the trigger and firing the gun. If shit exists where I have decided that I'm going to bring a gun out in case I need it, but I don't know 100% that I need it, then I draw the weapon and activate the light to provide more information for me prior to committing to a life-changing event. So that's my, that is my flashlight. But, but you're using your trigger finger for the flashlight. It, it can't do two things. Nope. It, you're right. It cannot do two things. I either need more light and I'm not saying I'm using this just because I need more light when I got one of these. I'm saying, man, I'm almost there, but I ain't quite there yet. 